Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Makia FX and we're doing an analysis for Euro USD. Euro USD is trading below the 1.0 level. Even though it had crossed the level before, it fell down trying to let us know that the bears are still keeping the market in check, as you can see. So on Monday we had a strong bearish candle that was like the falling down of, of, of the of the Euro USD. On Monday, we had a strong bearish candle. Tuesday, we had an indie strong candle. And Wednesday, right now, we are kind of like having a, a little bit of a bullish candle forming right now. But I still believe that at the end of the day, it might be bearish, even though this is an indie strong candle. This is the daily time frame. But let me tell you guys one thing. Today, there's gonna be there's, there's, there's gonna be some big news that's gonna be released. That's the the Fed interest rate. Okay, and that's a very very big news for the Euro USD because if the rates are increased, if the if the federal banks right of america increase their interest rates to four percent euro will fall euro will fall that's what's going to happen that's why you always have to know you have you have to always know the news when you're trading forex okay now let's go to the four hours time frame pretty much the same stuff as you can see it is forming lower lows lower highs that's it ever since it hit this area it started falling down and we're just seeing base rally base something like something like that yeah so i made six i'm just like want to draw a little bit of a what i'll call a channel to show you guys that euro US is, is trading in a descending channel And that's it that yeah that's it right there euro USD is trading in the descending channel and right now in the four hour time frame i'm expecting this thing to fall down okay at least to this level at least to this level at least to this level that's it so I'm expecting euro USD to fall down to this level at least also when the news is going to be released we are going to see how the market will react to the news anyways that's the 44 hour time frame i'll look at the stochastics and the rsi as you can see for this stochastics is still you see it is kind of like trying to fall down to the oversold area yeah yeah even the rsi is still trading below the 50 mark that means that this is actually a downtrend if you know about your analysis now i want to go to the one hour time frame because that's where we'll be trading in the one hour time frame we can see clearly that the euro usd is falling and i can't be buying in this market knowing fully well that the general market sentiment is bearish as you can see so clearly as you can see this is the descending triangle and you know how we trade right when the when the prices goes up to this area we sell but when it comes down to a let's say an area like this which is a in in general i want to call this area a small support zone <coughs> yeah when, when prices come to this area we close our positions and wait for it to go back up then we sell like what's happening right now so if i was to trade i'm looking for sales at the top of the triangles and hopefully <coughs> i'll make some money from this thing so that's pretty much analysis of euro usd okay the same with 15 minutes time frame it's almost the same stuff yeah but you can clearly see that these areas right this these small areas these areas are more of like support areas or what you call demand zones to buy but more on the upside you want to just be looking for sales if you know what i'm saying so with that said that's pretty much it for today Thanks for watching. What do you think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. You want to trade with our favorite brokers? The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.